We've got to understand how to price advisory services. Now, advisory services are typically a monthly fee that's budgeted out for the client, which they love, and then it would include quarterly meetings, would include maybe tax prep, bookkeeping, payroll, outsource CFO services, whatever you're putting together for the client. It's going to have a total, and you would divide it by 12 months, and in a perfect world, they'd start May 1st and end the April of next year. Tax returns would be all done, and the client runs off into the sunset. Now, it's not always going to be that clean, so we have to have a dynamic pricing model. We have to have engagement letters that allow us to charge more when the client shows up with more stuff on our doorstep. I've been there. I know what you're going through. So I know it can sound overwhelming because a pricing for advisory can seem like a moving target, but that's okay. Embrace it. You adopt those concepts in your engagement letter and you communicate that with transparency to your client. So as we learn the strategies that we're going to deliver through advisory services, we need to make sure we're onboarding the client with the right engagement letter, expectations, and pricing. It's doable and not overwhelming. And you can build in the protection for yourself and for your client so in up to be a fair exchange.